Our vision as a company is to develop 1.8 million square feet of residential, condominiums, restaurants, cafes, and entertainment facilities in the Mississauga Town Center. We branded our downtown The Exchange, and it's really important from a historical point of view. The Exchange is a place where people meet, where they trade, where they do business, or people interact socially. It's a place where people gather and, and connect. The Exchange District is a composition of four towers. The towers comprise a series of rectangular human scale blocks which alternate in orientation every six floors. The form itself has a simplicity to it that we feel and we believe is going to become quite iconic on the Mississauga skyline and also create expansive sky gardens which is going to be something amazing to live in. We want to bring to Mississauga uh, a focus for restaurants, for some shops, community uses, maybe an art gallery that uh, really creates a community heart here, somewhere that people can call their neighbourhood, not just for people living there, but uh, drawing people in from a wider district. We're also building public transit, light rail transit in fact, regionally integrated, taking people to jobs and prosperity right across the region. In a sense, you can think of it as Yorkville West. I envision a dynamic, very pedestrian-friendly environment. If people are going out to lunch or out in the evening, that they can say, let's go to the Exchange District. That is the focal point of Mississauga. Well, when we were coming up with the Downtown 21 plan, we identified very specifically the Exchange District as being a very active, pedestrian-oriented location. And what we're really pleased about is that Camros actually has brought in an international design team to look at how they could create that in Downtown Mississauga. So if anything, they not only meet the objectives that were set out of the Downtown 21 plan, but I would say exceed them. Alongside the Deep Camros team, we've looked worldwide to round out the group of consultants that have designed the Exchange District. Whether it be Toronto's own IBI group doing the residential tower architecture or BDP Architects out of London, England, a top-notch retail consultancy firm. And Jovan Huard, our interior designers for a lot of our interior spaces, we've spent a lot of time curating the perfect group of consultants. Someone who lives at Exchange District is going to be a reflection of what project is. Sophisticated, elegant, and intriguing. Architecturally, the Maryland buildings have actually set a high bar for Mississauga. And rather than trying to outdo Maryland, we thought the right approach would be to try and complement her to complete her. So in a sense, to provide a dancing partner for the Maryland. Whereas she is feminine, curvaceous, and sinuous, we thought we should provide an angular and masculine Fred Astaire, if you will, to complete the dance. We had this courtyard within the development to create a green oasis in this part of the city, somewhere you can get away from the traffic, away from the noise and hustle and bustle. We had this idea of raising this a little to create a space for people. To do this, we've got the opportunity to create urban steps that go up to this and at the centerpiece of this, a pavilion, which will house a restaurant and really become a sort of focus for the new community living here, but also the, you know, the wider area. The dream of any developer is to have such an opportunity to create a vibrant city centre and transform this area into a great international project and I can assure you we're going to get it right.